Hey everybody, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use custom modes for shooting video on the Canon EOS R to be able to recall instantly what you wanna use on the camera so you're ready to go and be creative and stay in that creative mode. Let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, if this is your first time here, welcome. And if you have come back again, I thank you so much. Please hit subscribe and join me in this learning journey with the Canon EOS R and photography and droneography and cinematography and filmmaking and all that good stuff. I'm glad you're here. All right, today I want to show you very quickly how I use custom shooting modes for video on the Canon EOS R. These are the C1, C2, and C3 settings on the Canon EOS R that help you automatically recall video settings. How do you set a mode? If I want to record the current settings, I hit menu, wrench, six, custom shooting mode is the second one. I choose that and I click register settings and then it'll memorize those settings. it will give me a choice of uh, custom shooting mode one, two, or three, and I could set it to be any one of those buttons. So it's very easy, you go menu, wrench, six, custom shooting mode, and then you register the settings and pick which one, two, or three setting you wanna memorize those settings at, all right? For C1, I use this for my 4K 10-bit output to the Atomos Ninja 5. This is gonna be Canon Log and 10-bit, which is only accessible when you're using a, an external recorder. So I want this set up as C1, and the reason I do that is I think of this as my highest quality settings, number one. So for my C2, I have this 1080p, also set to Canon Log, and this is what I record my vlogs in, typically setups like this, and I have that set to 1080p Canon Log. And so I have that set for C2. And for C3, I have this set for something new that I'm trying out, which is slow motion. And yes, that's right, 720p, 120 frames per second on the Canon EOS R. I've also set this to Canon Log. Now that I've gotten comfortable with uh, color grading C-Log, um, there's a video up here about how I do that. And so I have been using 120 frames per second and just trying to get used to that and making that another ingredient in my mix. Right now I'm shooting video, so if I want to switch, I would just hit mode and then touch the new custom setting on the back uh, touch screen. If you're shooting stills, you have to go mode, info and then choose your video mode. That's it. That's how easy it is. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you joining in. Leave a comment below. This is a tip that I think will save you time and help ease frustration around your use of video modes that you normally use or maybe once in a while use to be able to recall instantly what you want to use on the camera. So you're ready to go and be creative and stay in that creative mode. Custom video modes, custom shooting modes in video for the Canon EOS R. Thanks, thanks for joining. So those are the three settings and here's how I, you access them and memorize and shoot a 4K a 10 boot so that you can at any instant with one click of actually two because you have to hit the mode button, info button and then choose the mode on the touch screen. That's how I do it mode info well if you're if you're already in video mode you don't have to hit info